Psychologists have actually identified uh, three primary causes of the explosion of anxiety uh, in American culture and in Western culture compared to other cultures. And the first one is the pace of life we lead. Um, we are living at such a fast pace that our bodies were not made to handle that. As a part of that, we're getting bombarded with information from our various gadgets, and uh, our, our brains and nervous systems can't process that, inform process that information. So uh, that's, the num that's number one. The, no the second cause is that there has literally been a breakdown uh, in our ability to attach to other people and have deep, safe, meaningful relationships and community. And uh, as a result of that, we tend to, to be isolated and don't share what's going on with us very well. And uh, as a result, we stuff it and keep it inside. The third thing, believe it or not, uh, secular psychologists have identified moral relativism. Now, you might not think of that in your top 10 list, but here's why. Moral relativism says there's ultimately no objective, knowable purpose in life. There's no time-tested way to live and flourish. There's no such thing as a set of virtues and character traits that will help you lead a prosperous and a good life. And so we all have to make up our own. Well, that's hopeless because that means that there's no help that can be given to me that is wise and true. So moral relativism has been uh, the third contributing factor along with genetic inherited predispositions towards anxiety. And it's time for us Christians to be different. We can be different if we learn how to be joyful and peaceful and not be caught up in the anxiety and depression as badly as those who don't know the Lord. I urge you, please get the book. It will help you and it will be a tool that you can use to help us be different and shine forth Christ's presence to a world that will be increasingly anxious.